Hello everyone, my name is Master Starman, and welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. You blew it again, Lord Crump. You sickened me. Look, I'm sorry, seriously, we thought... We thought... We had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next door. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again, and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Tech? Is that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all the data on the network, I'm unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will it be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You'll be able to... You'll be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, do not make... <coughs> I do not want you to make such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind tech, really. Ask me anything. Well then first, leave the room and take the elevator up, as you did earlier. Okay then, well... <clears throat> looks like we're doing something a bit dangerous. You will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus's room. Exit the elevator to the room <coughs> and enter the room with the green light above it. Well, Grotus's room is to the left, so we're going to be heading this way this time. And I believe it's the next door we got to go into. Past another elevator. Yeah, this room here. <coughs> and here. Now I will have you con. Coat a potion that will make you transparent. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay, how do I make it? You first must set all the potions on the desk in the con Conco Sin, whatever that word is. It's the machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion set where. There should be memos left in this room by the Axonaut researchers. Please use them as references and set the potion inside the machines. Well, basically, uh, if you can read these, place the orange potion between the blue and the green. Now place the red potion on the far right. Place the blue potion next to the red potion. Place the two po place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. So it. Okay, wait. Okay, so the green and the red are going to be on the other sides. It's the blue potion next to the red potion. Do not place the red potion on the far right. Okay, so that means the red potion needs to go here. According to this note here. Yes, okay. And that would also mean that the blue potion would need to go here. The green potion would need to go here. And the orange potion would need to go right there. Now, this is actually pretty tough to do, this here. 
<laughs> and basically now what we gotta do is press this button here. And now there will be a beaker thing. And whenever our thing passes, I don't know if it will give instructions for this or not, but whenever this thing passes through here, please press the button where the beaker stops the dispense each thing. So I'll basically press it in there, press it in there, press it in there, press it that, push it like that. Oh shoot. Okay, put it in there. Put some more orange in there. And add in a green slurpee and this is the part that I kind of fear a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to be opening up my computer timer here because <clears throat> you actually do need to time this pretty well. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating stops the machine. Okay then, so I kind of know when to go off uh, about this here. Um, I'm really not sure what else I can say about this part in the game here. I always find this to be one of the most stressful parts of the game, just because if you screw up one little thing, then this entire thing goes wrong. Uh, some of the results of, of this are pretty funny, but I'm obviously not really into doing it for the humor too much, and I kind of hope that that worked there, because I'm pretty sure that was 30 seconds. Alright, let's try this. And now let's drink it. And yes, it worked correctly. <clears throat> but I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. <laughs> oh god, I love this game's humor sometimes. Oh man, I love this game's humor sometimes. <laughs> oh my god. Where did she put the- wow, it didn't even shore putting the dress anywhere. Uh, what? Okay, that was creepy. Why are the doors open even though there's no one here? Malfunction or am I just totally losing? <laughs> Anyways, if you walk by, um, we'll eventually be noticing some even stronger versions of these X-Nots here. <clears throat> we'll be fighting some of these guys in a later on chapter, so don't worry about that. Now let's head into Grotus' room. Now over here, this is actually the um, master guard that blocks off everything that comes into here. <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if we actually fight him in the game or not. But anyways, this is Grotus' room. Now where is that disc? Now, if you look in the air, we see a bunch of those shark things. Those are probably the things that were biting our ass off earlier. Uh, in here, you actually find a Famicom disc. <laughs> yep, a Famicom disc from the Famicom disc system. Now, insert the disc into the computer and connect it to the network. Uh, I know that's supposed to be a reference to some sort of other older game, but I honestly can't remember what what it is. If anyone would like to tell me in the comments, then please do so because I love that old reference. <laughs> oh God, looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. Let's do that then. Now let's leave. Now thankfully, I, I don't think we actually have to... I didn't think we had to do as much backtracking with this, but I guess I could be wrong. Uh, was I wrong or was I right? Chances are I was probably wrong about that, because we still have to walk quite a ways back. Um, I really don't have much else I can talk about, really. I forgot how long this uh, peach interlude actually would have been. <clears throat> yeah, now just go put the dress back on, and now all we have to do is, uh... 
ate this here, or took this here. The, po the invisibility potion in this game kind of reminds me of the Gorilla Gone ability in DK64, which is a game that I've been playing a hell of a lot of lately. And thankfully, it'll immediately cut us over to where Tech was. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I'm still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... It's correct. What? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I'll let you know when my analysis is complete. Now, please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you tell me when to decipher, when you decipher the data, huh? Good, then I'll use the communicator then. I've written my message. Would you send it? The message has been sent. You're done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay, take care, tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Oh, you're welcome, Tech. Oh, usually Peach calls Tech annoying. It's fresh she actually being nice to me. Tech just said he protect her. This game's starting to get a bit more interesting, and that's one thing I like, is that this game's story is really interesting. <clears throat> Anyways... We also have a <clears throat> Lord Crump in Twilight Town. And Bowser in Twilight Town, mind you. Black, why is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. Lights out because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should the treasure be here? Let's put the screws to one of the creepy things. Find the crystal, sir. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go to it. I don't know what Lord Crump's doing here, but anyways. That's not supposed to be like that. You could. <coughs> hmm. Wuss. Can't even enter these areas, Bowser. Bowser really is huge in this game. Like, he was a lot smaller in Thousand Year to or, um, in Super Paper Mario. Oh, hmm. <laughs> you know, I bet the laundry never drives around here. What is it? Oh, just catch one of these weirdos and make him tell us where the crystal star is. Well, let's talk to the weirdest one here. Oh, man. Pretty sure Buildum said she lost her super bomb somewhere around here. This stinks, really. Old deal is extremely bad, bad, bad. I got a cowboy up here, make a serious comeback or else. Bam, got it. I'm the man. And now I can rush Mario and get the star in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun. You there, special guy. You know something about the crystal star, don't you? Buh, somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You're looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet, this will help Crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know, now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out, you big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa there, big guy. I mean, no, wait. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> you think you can take me? Yeah, then try, chubby. All troops, report! <laughs> yeah, you like that? Can't. I know a lot of dudes, huh? You feel that happen yet? <laughs> you dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up! Yeah, Koopa Trolls, Hambros, and Magic Koopas. I think they're stronger than regular x knots <laughs> Whoa, well played. <laughs> so it's gonna be tough, guy. <laughs> oh, I got left. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dorks. Super bomb! Incoming! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off. <laughs> You idiot, Bowser! <laughs> oh my god, you idiot. Uh, well, in reality, those two would be gone, Kelly would be gone, the Koopa Clan would be gone, all those Exonauts would be gone, and there would be a gigantic crater in where Twilight Town used to be.
<laughs> so, we better just hope that nothing like that really happened. You, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You're worthy of my eyes. You may use this ship, last, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, uh, many thanks to you. This ship can get back to Rogueport in no time. Let's get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come on, everyone. Uh, I can't wait to get back home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home, I have all this treasure is all I need, for real. Now I can get this boat moving. Well, that's all there is to it then. I'm not correct to see Captain Mario. Ah, Mario. We're gonna stay here. It's been a tough time, but I think I like this place. Yes, I can make a fine on life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's, it's a very nice place to live without without any ghosts, eh? We're gonna dwell right here, I think. Yeah, let's work out Mario. Ready, amigos? Cast off! Thus, our adventure came to an exciting end, uh, ship sailed smoothly on the road port, and soon we saw the harbor off the bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it seems. For I found something even more precious than doubloons, yes. Even now I hear the crew ready to dock, this time it's about to close its journal. From all the wonder of the seas, Flavio's blessing is upon you. <coughs> and believe it or not, we're actually not going to be doing the typical post-chapter stuff in the... <clears throat> of this uh, chapter here. Believe it or not, we're actually going to be doing a lot of optional post chapter stuff here too. And uh, Cortez says if we ever need to return to Keel Hall Key, we can always go there too just by talking to him. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> Gonzalez, that was your book. That was that's you, bud. You gotta have an email from Prince Peach. Dear Smart, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this Tech, I'm going to obtain some of the Einstein's data. Tech is currently analyzing it. As strange as it sounds, I trust him. Once he is the analysis done, I should be able to bribe you with details of their plans. I'll email you once it's done more. Be good, Prince Peach. Rock on! That princess is pretty rad, huh? Wow, we ought to get to work, too. Indeed you are, Yoshi. Indeed we are. Or Piccolo, not Yoshi. I gotta keep on remembering that. Anyways, um, not who I wanted to see here. I'm hazy, and I must say, Luigi is a great actor, one of the finest I've ever seen. After this adventure, we're going on a tour to appear with stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be the grass. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous company, this ja Jazz for Ass Town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring art into that little quest, huh? It's pretty nut. No, I'm fine, Luigi. I'll definitely be showing off Luigi's doors some other time, and, oh yeah, it's Y to transform into boat, not R, I don't know, I don't know why I was thinking I had to press the R button to turn into the boat, <clears throat> either way though, there is actually a boat pad over here, which takes you to a secret area that has a, sh a star piece and just an another minor thing, really, star piece and a HP drain badge, which is... Not exactly a badge I like particularly. It's kind of like a, kind of like Happy Heart, except it kind of it, it happens every turn and it lowers your attack power. So I don't really like it all that much. At least that's what I think it said, anyways. Yeah, it's not really a badge I like too much. We will be getting another really great badge in this chapter, though, which or, um in this video action now that I think about it. Um, and we're actually not going to be doing anything t ooh, typical regu that we would be regularly. Um, uh, I'll check my email about that later. Anyways, I might as well talk to this guy here. Um, yeah, I'll buy this here. I'll buy a shooting star. And, uh, do I still have, like, a walk-up or something? Yeah, I still have a whack-a-bump. I think I'm actually gonna cook that. 
Cause uh, the Wackabomb when cooked, I think it's something really nice, believe it or not. <clears throat> no. Uh, just cook that. I don't know if this is the greatest thing yet, but... Or this is, I don't know if this is a really great thing or not, but I'm pretty sure you get something really good for this. Yeah, because we see it had the uh, glowing thing there. And... You get a Zest Special, which is actually worse than the Wackabump, but <clears throat> it's still a recipe regardless. Yeah, the Wackabump is still actually better, but I think the Wackabump looks a lot better anyways. Um, I want to see that here. Um, Zest Special. Okay, it's made by regularly cooking an Ultra Shroom with a Slow Shroom, which is actually a really bad deal in my opinion. Other than the fact that it can recover a lot of FP as well. Uh, now that we have Bobbery, there really isn't too much we can do that's new. Um, this guy here, this is actually a really important thing though, if we see Merlin. There is some a really important thing that we want to do. And, first of all, the really important thing is to upgrade Bobbery so that he gets an extra thing of attack. I have literally, t like, enough Shine Sparks to upgrade so many characters at this point. Anyways, I actually want to go to the Trouble Center really quickly. Now, I would regularly be wanting to do what <coughs> uh, this guy would have to do here, but there is actually something else that I want to get. Really quickly, I want to see something. Okay, good, you don't get anything for spin jumping in his house again. I still can't believe I missed that secret in, the, in my original Paper Mario LP, but I seriously did not know about that. That you could get something like that. Anyways, uh... Trouble center really quickly. And there is another trouble I want to do here. Um uh hold on. Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, okay, this is actually the one that I wanted to go on to. <clears throat> we'll be uh, taking on that challenge here today as well. And we're going to be going through a bit of the Pit of 100 Trials as well. Now, something I actually you wouldn't think of as seeing in a Let's Play of Pit Murder the Thousand Year Door, at least not this early. Now, I'm not doing the entire pit, obviously. That's definitely out of the question. I'm nowhere near prepared for doing that. But I do want to go into a bit of the pit so far. Now in here, we can get a double dip badge, which is really nice. It allows you to use two items per turn. I didn't even think we got that badge that or the, uh, this easily, actually. I thought that double dip was actually a lot harder of a badge to obtain. But anyways, yeah, we're going to be going through the Pit of 100 Trials. Now, don't get me wrong, the Pit will be pretty long. I will honestly admit to this. But after I kind of explain it, I actually will be... Uh, speeding up a little bit because I'm I want to go down all the way to floor 50, which is what that task should be as well. Because there is actually a, a challenge that you need to go to floor 50 on as well. And I just want to kind of get two things here really quickly with Bobbery here, because if you get that, you can get that with Bobbery, and you can also break this open here with Bobbery as well. So that you no longer have to use the tube ability to get up at through here, and yeah, everything's all safe and sound now. There is one other really quick thing I want to get, and I'm not sure where it is. I'm hoping that I went the right way. Uh, yes, I think I did. If you whoa, Koopa Troll! Uh, I don't think he's supposed to be here, but here you can find a gradual syrup. And a slow shroom, that's kind of surprising. Uh, I did not expect to be able to find a Koopa Troll here. Now, there's a warp pipe there, but if you head over here, maybe these enemies now appeared here. I don't know. I know at some point in the game, you can actually find uh, that <coughs> Bowser's minions actually replaced the enemies in the sewer, but I didn't think it was. Uh, at this point, I thought it was after the post of the next chapter. 
Anyways, we still see that block there. We still can't do anything about that. We'll be able to do it at the end of the next chapter, though. During the pulse of the next chapter, anyways. If you use the boat and head all the way over here... I know this is very out of the way, but the reward is highly worth it. As you can see in there, three Shine Sprites and a Defense Plus Badge. This is entirely worth it. Uh, can I even get that other Shine Sprite that's up there? I don't know if I can or not. Oh. Oh, I didn't get struck first by that. <clears throat> Either way, though, these enemies aren't really easy for me to kill anyways. <laughs> not like there's any real challenge to this at all. <clears throat> I'm just gonna be cutting out all these battles here because... If I decide to fight them, because... They're not even gonna be any challenge for me at all. Okay, well after that, I actually think I just realized something. I don't think I can get this here yet. Until I get the... Partner of or, um, until I get a new ability of that we get in the next chapter, so I'm kind of annoyed at that. Actually, I didn't quite realize. Although there is a new enemy up here. This is known as a Spunia, and you can tell how much it really gets annoying to having to fight that thing. Now, Spunia is actually legitimately really annoying, and <clears throat> something I want to talk about here is the Spunia. Because you'll fight the Spunia. I had a Nintendo Power Magazine once that said the Spunia was only found in the. Uh. That said the Spunia was only found in the uh, Pit of 100 Trials, which it is found there. But my. The magazine said that it's exclusive to the Pit of 100 Trials. And I admit this is a really well hidden secret area. But it does have a really important item in it. Well, a couple of really important items in it, and I screw up the timing on that. I don't see how they friggin' couldn't, like, forget that the Spunny was actually in this area here, like, really. I mean, I was like, what, maybe? I don't know how old I was whenever I discovered that there. I guess I can't get that, now that I think about it, because, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to off screen at the Thousand Year Door really quickly, because I don't think there's anything else we can get along the way. Actually, I guess there is technically one other thing we can get, but I'm not going to, like, there is one other thing I can get, and I guess I'll off screen to it. It's another really short Actually, no, no, there isn't anything else. Uh, really quickly, I guess while I'm in this side of the town here on the uh, way back when I was exiting from the sewers, there is a quick shine spread I figured I could easily get here. And a star piece. Also, if you go into this house here, there's actually a little tube path you can follow back here, and you can also get another quick shine sprite that way as well. 